when when did you first like realize what free software uh, is about? When did you first discover that part? Hmm. Yeah, that's a good good question. Um, because I'm not really sure which point in my life I should say because the, the, my first interaction with well, I mean, I started playing around with like Unix, not Linux even, but Unix. Uh, in one of my earlier roles as a nuclear engineer back in. Well, I suppose I, I was on a Unix terminal in university as well, very briefly. But uh, my first kind of job as a nuclear engineer in '97, I want to say, um, was playing around with Unix. I got a bit familiar with the idea of Unix, which of course is not the same thing at all. Uh, but then I guess around '99, 2000, it was 2000, first got a copy of Linux, and I can only assume that I did that because I just thought the whole idea of like a uh, free and open. It's not. It wasn't really about it being free monetarily, but just it being free in the other sense. Uh, operating system was really cool, and and being somebody who'd you know dabbled with programming in various steps of my of my life, I, I liked the idea. It would give me a lot more sort of personal power as a user to control the computer. So I got I got a copy of Linux uh, and started using it. I guess around the year two thousand. It might have been a you know it might have been like two thousand two actually. And I think it was Red Hat, if I remember right. Uh, but anyway, I, I, I played around with that for a year or two, but then I went back into teaching. And doing an ordinary job like that, it was just like, I can't be bothered messing around. You know, in those early days, well, early-ish days, Linux was, wasn't stupidly easy to use. I mean, there were a lot of like roadblocks in using different pieces of software. So I just went back to using Windows as, as I had an ordinary job, and I just wanted to you know, get on with my life, so to speak, rather than tinker with a computer all day. <laughs> um, and then I only sort of came back to Linux around the same time after after Bitcoin and after giving up my my last teaching job. I came back to uh, Linux because again I felt more like a free agent and I wanted to spend more time programming. And it just was natural to go back into Linux at that point. But open source software generally, I always understood vaguely the principle, even from the early days. I remember the shareware days, and I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, I guess late nineties that was. Um, I can't remember like whether I donated different things it was more difficult to donate back then <laughs> but i probably did donate to a couple of pieces of software and then yeah and then after shareware and it became more this whole open source thing i definitely heard about that a lot more than i heard about cryptography it was a lot more obscure in in the sort of those intervening years and i was definitely on board with the concept but it only became really easy to use linux i feel like in that in that late on that later time round when I, I got used using it again in 2013 i guess it was and then i was oh yeah this is actually pretty easy to use now there's still problems but it's you know and and of course i signed up with github and i started playing around with you know, a couple of different software projects just messing around and um but yeah i was always bought into the idea from the first time i heard about it i think it's a very good idea yeah 